Okay, um, this is a video going towards people who have crashed and think they have broken their ESC or actually have broken their ESC. And, um, just a quick check on if it is actually broken. So, because I just had a recent crash and I thought I broke my ESC because it wasn't working. And then I actually found a way to fix it. So, I'm going to just show you how I did it and how this may help you. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the canopy off. Okay, so what I did, well, I wanna give you a couple tips first. This is a 40 amp ESC, it works great for the EXI, I recommend it more than the 30. Um, Volcano series, by the way. And uh, what happened was I did a loop and it was a little too close to the ground and it did perfect nose dive. So, then, what I found out is um, it just it kept on beeping. The ESC kept on, uh, 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 just kept on beeping, and I couldn't figure it out. And I was ready to order a new one. And then, for the last time, I said, "Well, I'm gonna go check it one more time." And I started playing around with it, just tapping on it a little bit, and uh, it started working. And the reason, actually, why it broke was because. The battery was only rubber banded. Now the best way to keep it on is to Velcro it and then rubber band it. Um, and then that will hold it in. So when I crashed, the battery flew out, pulled on these wires, and broke it. Kind of like ripped one of the wires out. Um, so um, now these wires, um, they're the power wires to the battery from the ESC. Um, and they, they are very fragile. So they will break in a hard hard crash because this is one um, bad thing about the ES EXIs um, the tray has actually no protection other than the canopy so um, you might want to put a little barrier like some popsicle sticks or something there so um, I started playing around with the wires when I was working on it and started like tugging on them a little bit pushing them back in and then the helicopter was just beeping and beeping and beeping and as soon as I tugged on this black wire and pushed it in a little bit, it actually set itself. So my point here is, just before you order a new ESC after a bad crash, always tap it a bit and just put in pressure on the wires, like push them in and then pull them out if you're not getting anything. Like just just a small tug because maybe there's a loose connection. Um, because that definitely happens. The battery will fly off in a bad crash if it's not strapped down, and it will tug on these wires. So that you're gonna need to uh, just do that because you don't want to waste money on a new ESC because they are pretty expensive. So that's what you do.